New tonight, tensions are rising among some teenagers in Buffalo during these last few weeks of school. Community leaders tell us this week a girl was attacked at an NFTA bus stop on her way to Health Sciences Charter School. News Force Callan Gray is here to tell us what's being done about it. Callan? Well, Don, Jackie, we're told that student was taken to the hospital. Buffalo peacemakers have been in the charter school for the past month doing conflict resolution. School leaders hope this partnership will continue next year. Half a dozen Buffalo peacemakers patrol Health Sciences Charter School on Ellicott Street to defuse conflict. These kids just don't fight fair. They have weapons. So we never know. We just had a student get jumped the other day and they, had, they cut her. She has a concussion. She ended up at the hospital. And senior peacemaker Tina Sanders says during patrols outside, they've found guns in nearby bushes. She tells us conflicts that often start on social media boil over once the students see each other at school. And she says some are gang members, but all have been affected by the 17 deadly shootings in Buffalo this year. They have lost some of their students. Uh, we did prayer visuals here for some of their students. She meets one on one with at risk students and their parents to help the teenagers see their own potential. These are scholars. These are our future doctors, our lawyers, our judges. The partnership with the school started about four years ago when peacemakers would attend school dances and athletic events. What we found was that the relationships get to be built. And then we start to um, have connections with the students at the bus stations, at the train stations, in the community at the events. It was a logical next step was to try to bring them into our school to continue those relationships to help students um, have uh, more role models. Now, for the past four weeks, they've been at the school every day. And principal Dr. Hank Stupinski says they hope that continues in the fall. These folks have a real intimate knowledge of how the young people in the community works, and we want um, the peacemakers to help be our mentors. Now, the peacemakers tell me they volunteer their time at the school and they will continue to have a strong presence there through the end of this year. Now, we have reached out to police about the investigation into that student's assault, but have not heard back. Reporting live, Callan Gray, News 4.